Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Capricorn, what you've got going in career and finance is the Knight of Pentacles. So it says that um, you consistently keep showing up. Therefore, there will be profit made in your career, in your business, and whatever it is you're doing. This could also be business, travel. Keep in mind, you know, to have fun. Life shouldn't all be all about work. Some of you are just a workhorse. You are not letting up on this. You want to see something come into fruition. You want to get something to a place of a level of the king of pentacles to where money works for you now you're not trading your time uh for money uh you're making money in your sleep if you will the knight of pentacles talks about um guardian angel guarding your work also you know giving you strength to keep going to endure uh, again consistency hard work consistency um dotting all the i's crossing the t's making sure you put out the best product the best service this is a level of perfection you're trying to uh, achieve also this could be you could be in finance you could be in this is also fitness or training or something like that because you're watching over This is you being very serious about growth in your financial sector, in your financial life. You're just not going to let anything come in between the growth of. You're doing the same thing over and over again, being very consistent. And that's the key to um, growth, consistency what you do day in day out the same thing so that's really good in love and romance you have the king of cups and the five of wands some of you you're a bit you have a, a love for a lot of different people or at least two different people you're kind of confused as to which love affair you should give more energy effort time or love to devotion to some of you keep exes around just to feed your ego and that could be causing drama friction in your current connection. Some of you have people fighting over you, you like the attention, you like the, you know, you like the, um, the energy that, um, you know, comes from knowing that people want you, that they're demanding time or energy from you. You have a larger love or likeness for somebody, but it's not singular. It's not just for them. You get another love over here. The, the King of Cups is the only king with, you know, two things in his hands, right? You have two chalices here. So it's like a big love for somebody. Then maybe, a, you know, um, a smaller love or medium love or mediocre, mediocre love for the other person. This is somebody who can balance out all of these different energies. They do it. You know, they do it precisely. They do it effortlessly. All of these people are vying for energy, effort, time, a little bit of time with the King of Cups, and you're okay with that. You know how to kind of balance that out. You know how to balance so many different personalities and energies. Sometimes you, you take a break from these people, but they're looking at, I don't know, they're looking at social media. Somebody can't get over you. Or you can't get over someone. You could be looking at them. You could be um, in conflict about should you reach out? Should you make amends? It says that you have a lot of options in love and you need to choose one, especially with the five of wands because these people can get kind of demanding, maybe even borderline volatile. Like they can come for you if you don't make a decision here. The advice of the cards or the divine is the Knight of Cups. Um, 
it says that, uh, you know, re be realistic in when approaching love relationships are work. Okay. Um, you're doing a lot to find love. I don't know if you're on, on sites or social sites or dating sites, you're doing a lot to find love and you found it, but don't run away so quickly when you figure out that relationships are work. That's for someone here. Also, you're doing some creative work or you will be, or you're getting inspiration from the universe. Some of you want to engage in love, but you're still guarded. You don't trust it for whatever reason. You don't trust love. You don't trust being vulnerable with someone. You don't trust the intimate nature of that. And maybe you need to look at, that's why you haven't had what you really wanted because there is no letting down of the guard. There's always a guard on duty and you're not getting the outcome that you want. You're going to have to get to a level of burying your soul, accepting you for you. Some of you, this is also sexuality. This is, you know, by with the two cups, the two chalices, and then confusion with the five of wands. Okay. So some of you could be not confused about your sexuality, but more so maybe confused about coming out. This is what I have for you. Also, if you let somebody go or yeah, you let them go, you guys are communicating telepath by way of telepathy. They can't get over you. And this could be same sex, okay? This is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. You could purchase something from the Amazon wish list. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come learn the Tarot with me. Uh, classes are linked below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.